Welcome to episode 35 for Dual Night 5D. Today we're tackling straight into ancient prophecy. But before we get into this episode, a huge shout outs to all our Patreon members. Without you guys, Dual Night will not be where it's at today. Thank you so much for all your generous contribution and support. If you guys want to get early access to all Dual Night episodes, Ultimate Losers Match, Best 2 out of 3 Finals, and so much more, be sure to sign up for the Patreon today in the link down below at patreon.com slash teamsamuraiX1. You guys have been supporting do night so much and like i said from the bottom of my heart without each and every single one of you do night will not be where it's at today we're 35 episodes in deep and counting thank you guys so much i love you all all right guys roll the episode intro welcome to do night This is a brand new draft series where four players take their deck building and dueling skills to the next level. It goes like this. The set for every episode will be divided into four piles. One for each player to draft a single card from and switching piles afterwards until there are no more cards left to draft. Each duelist comes up with a 40 card deck using their drafted cards, dueling one another in a best of one. The winners of each duel will proceed to the finals, battling for the title of champion. The deck box continuously builds as each set progresses, adding the best cards from previous sets to the arsenal. Watch as the four of us pull it off to see who can become the master of Duel Knight. Let's begin. Ancient Prophecy. Oh my goodness. You guys already know we cannot start a Duel Knight episode without calling our boy Chuck. Chuck! Explain what Ancient Prophecy is all about. Let's go. Ojama, Kawaki Meru, Blackwing, Morphtronic. My grandmother used to tell me stories about the old days, a time of peace when the earthbound immortals kept balance between all the dual monster tribes. But that all changed when the Blackwings attacked. A hundred years have passed, and only a few factions stand in the Blackwings' path to world domination. Two years ago, my father, Ojama Green, left our nation to join the fight. We hope that with the Ojama attack and defense swap techniques, the Kawaki Meru's raw strength, powered by Iron Core technology and the Morphtronic's ability to swarm the battlefield, that we can overthrow the savage synchro summoning Blackwings. But it may not be enough. People believe that the Earthbound Immortals are merely a legend. But I haven't lost hope. I still believe that when the field is right, the ancient prophecy will be fulfilled, and the Earthbound Immortals shall return to save the world. We are back. Another episode. Let's go. Hello, Duel Knight. What's going on, everybody? I'm glad to be back. I'm excited. You know, I have not been doing so well in the 5Ds season, but today's a chance that I redeem myself. I love Ancient Fairy Dragon. Welcome back to Duel Knight 5Ds. I've won the last two episodes I've been in, that being episode one and episode four of this season. So I'm looking for the three P, winning episode number five. I don't know if I've managed to get the hat trick before, but I'm feeling it this time. And I've, I've, I feel like I've been so close. This one, it's a lock. Unfortunately, last week I lost in the finals to Jesse. This is my second chance at redemption against Jesse Bolton or Triff or Soom. But Soom is a little bro, so he kind of sucks. Oh, we are back, everybody! With what is that? With the ancient prophecy. That's right. Jesse Cotton is now officially a YouTuber. I am, but I can't match the energy. Everybody, everybody, he's officially a YouTuber. Subscribe to Jesse Cotton Yu Gi Oh! in the link down below. Alright, you guys ready for this draft? Let's do it. Yeah. Alright, guys, good luck, good luck, good luck. Good luck. 
Good luck, because you guys are all going to need it. Especially this guy. This guy's all about Yu-Gi-Oh. Please stop. Please stop. I think it's been pretty good, actually. It's serenading my ears right now. Jesse, did you watch GX? Yeah, most of it. So you're a Chaz Princeton, right? Nah. Yeah, Jamas came out before GX. Really? Yeah. Why do you say Ujamas? Who cares? It's Ujama. Ujamas. Why do you say it like that? Hey guys, I'm playing Ujamas. Yep. You already know what Steven took all of them. He took all the traps. He took all the trap cards already. That is not true. Jesse, which country have you been to so far? Every country? No, of course not. Guess what? You're not going to Ujama country. Wow. <laughs> Again. <laughs> so I, I have to grow up like this. All right, guys, so after one hour of intense drafting, how's your deck, Jesse? Phenomenal. How's your uh, Java deck? It's going to destroy all of your guys' decks. Really? Steven? <laughs> You lost to Ojamas last time. No, I did. Yes, you did. I, I won that episode. He didn't lose. He let you win. Yeah. I lost to soon, bro. You in the did? finals, I beat you. Well, he's oh, also. Oh, yes. remember you can play the oh, Cyber Dragon. Oh, remember? Oh, well, you topped that. Yeah, you, you won with a Cyber Dragon. Card. You were losing that game anyways. Well, you suck. Thanks, Jesse. I appreciate that. Anyways, we have to remind him. Season one. How's your deck? Awesome. The best deck ever. This one has the worst deck, but okay. Anyways, get ready! Guys, under here is two power tool dragons and two ancient fairy dragons. Who is better, Leo or Luna? I don't know which one's which, but ancient Luna. fairy dragon. Huh? Ancient fairy dragon is better? Oh, absolutely. You ready? One, two, three. Oh, that's me. Got him. Which one do you want to assume with this? Right, this one's on. mine? Okay. One. I want to face Jesse first. One. You want to face me? Three. Well, seems like. Oh! Today, I face Zoom. Me and Zoom have had a big battle and almost a rivalry, if you call it that. But I do consider Zoom my prodigy in the making. Zoom, the prodigy training will have to wait. Today, I'm gonna have to beat you and get myself another championship. Oh boy, I'm going up against Steven again in the first round. I believe the last time I faced Steven in the first round as well, this is my chance to pay him back. I'm gonna win this time, let's go. Sam, usually I play him in the finals and it's a buy then, so I'm sure it's a buy now. He asked me what, what looks good in the draft and clearly he's a bit clueless, so I shouldn't have a problem this time. Yes, I get to face Jesse Cotton. Honestly guys, my goal is to knock Jesse out to the ultimate losers match and I'm gonna fill this goal today. Jesse, I'm gonna make it my mission to send you to Patreon. Guys, let's get it, let's go. Jesse is drafting. This is my deck list. My deck list is insane. Strategy number one, I'll be utilizing Blackwing Vayu, Emblem of Honor, where I'm gonna be focusing to get that card in my graveyard with cards like Armageddon Knight, Dark Graffer, Foolish Burial, and to be able to bring out the very powerful Blackwing Synchro monsters to just destroy my opponent. That's the strategy I'm gonna be utilizing. So well, the way to protect those big monsters with Blackwing is obviously a lot of defensive cards like Traps and Spells. And then, what's really gonna catch my opponent off, bar, off guard is three, Burial from a different dimension. This means that once I utilize all my values, I just bring them back from Banish back to the graveyard. So assume I'm gonna take care of you quick, and then Jesse or Sam, whoever's next, they're going down. I want Jesse, I want Sam, I want Milano and Denzel, and Sue, all five on one. I'll do a one with one hand, the other with the other, and I'll beat them all. Finals, let's go. So my deck today, I am super proud of. I'm playing Zombie Koyaki Maru, and this is my deck list. My engine is based around Pyramid Turtles going into my Mizukis, Plague Spreader Zombie, and my Koyaki Maru Gangulit. This is my big 
engine, my big monsters. And of course, my supporting cast is the other Koei Kimaru monsters that are heavy beaters and will just attack with a lot of power. One of my best trap cards is Reckoned Power. If I control a Koei Kimaru spell card in my hand, I can destroy all face down traps my opponent controls. And of course, my best synchro monster has to be my Black Rose Dragon. She is a nuke if she comes to the ground. She destroys everything on the field. My deck is a Koikimaru zombie beatdown. The draft is finished and I'm liking my deck a lot. You guys should recognize this. It is Ojamas. This one's a little different than last time. I'm not playing Magical Hats. Somebody took them off from the draft. However, with Ojama Blue and Ojama Country now in the game, I can actually focus more on Ojamas as a win condition. That is, I can make Ojama King or Ojama Knight, another new card. And with Ojama Country, the attack and defense becomes swapped. Ojama King is 3,000 and can actually apply pressure. Now I have a win condition. Also, Ojama Country lets me revive Ojamas once per turn by discarding. This can trigger Oja Magic. Now I have an in-theme way, in way to trigger Oja Magic. So I don't need to play infinite discard card. Now, Ojama Blue is great because in Scroll Bat Battle, I had two Ojama cards in the deck to hand. That alone gets Ojama Country and Ojama Magic or anything else, but typically that's the setup I want to go for. Mix with some polymerizations, some good attack cards, and yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Now, it's important to note that I took a lot of backward removal. It's pretty scarce in the draft because I wanted to make the Earthbound Immortals relatively strong. Otherwise, they just suck. Uh, people still didn't seem to draft them because they went along at the end. And I have a couple because maybe I can use them. But because I want Ojama Country to live, kind of like how I want my field spells to live in Earthbound Immortals, I drafted the only Dust Tornado and the only Snipe Hunter in the draft. I didn't get the Space Typhoon, and there are some back removal cards that are still going around, but I got those two, and I also got all three Eradicators, which are no longer in the draft. So yeah, feeling pretty good. So overall, I think I'm going to take us back to Modern and Kashtira lock all five of these guys' monster zones. Should be a wrap. All right, guys, so we just finished the draft. I think I have one of the most craziest deck in the entire room. I decided to go for something a little bit different this time. Here is my deck list. We're going for the more, 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 Explosive. Self on Machine Dupe. GG No Ring. All right. Those cards are absolutely insane. Junk Box is an infinite monster born. The deck has a lot of utility. Scoping special is a monster from the hand. And I got Slingin. Mortronic Slingin right here. This card's insane. I contribute to Mortronic to destroy any card on the field. Card's absolutely phenomenal. And Equip Spells in my deck are really, really strong. We got, of course, the Mortronic Equip Spell, which is basically another monster born. And Mortronic Cord, which pops the spawn trap. And the best card in my deck is Mortronic Bind. This card right here is literally Gravity Bind from Mortronics. So against any deck that utilizes big monsters, to summon on the field, as long as control Motronic Monster, they cannot attack. Like, this card is ridiculous. And do you guys see the most important floaters in my deck? It definitely has to be Giant Rat. The only Earth Motronic Monster that I have in my deck is Motronic Cell Fawn. So, as long as I get access to Cell Fawn, that's all I need. All I need is one Cell Fawn in the grave, and everything will come a lot properly. And one of the craziest cards in my deck is Motronic Accelerator Reload. Return a Motronic, pop a card, and destroy a card. Oh my goodness, this card is insane. And in this draft right here, there's a bunch of field spells. So Angel Fairy Dragon becomes absolutely insane uh, to pop field spells and search a field spell. So the card is just absolutely ridiculous. So guys, here's my Mortronic Synchro deck list. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. And it's time to hit sixes all the way. You feel what I'm saying? Time to roll the dice. RNG time, let's get it, let's go. Steven, we meet again. We meet again. For the bro. first time in a few years. Yes, the last Months. time. When was the last time you were on Duel Night? Oh, wow. That hurts. You want to know why, right? Okay, so. Because Sam whispered to me earlier in my ear. It was kind of weird. I was like, what are yeah. you doing, Sam? But then he was like, then he moved off. Then he was like, yo, my brother kind of sucks at Yu-Gi-Oh. And I'm like, no, give your brother more credit. He's good. He's like a prodigy. I've won before. You won before. Like, you, didn't you beat, don't, don't didn't, me. didn't you beat Sam I've beat in his him. own show? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I've been multiple times at home, trust me. At home too? But listen, I'm just a backup guy right now. No, My you're not. My goal is to be no. the front runner. No. All right? I, I, you you know, feel like, it feels like you have a, 
You guys are protagonist energy right now. Thank you very much. So I hope I'm I'm gonna run the antagonist energy because I've always been the villain. Harold, what's the villain of Five Ds? Jack Atlas. Are we still, Jack are we still in Five Ds? Are we still in Five Ds? Well, we are in Five Ds. Okay. So I'm Jack Atlas. You're Jack. Then I'm Yusei Budo. Or, okay. Alright, you say- High roll! Jack Atlas! Five! Dragon Arch, Faye. What did I say? Five is gonna be hard, man. Like five Ds? Like five dragons? Yes. Five, five, five Ds? Yes. Two! First? I'm gonna go first. I'm not gonna let you go first. But guess what? You wanna know what else I'm not gonna let you do? Okay. Play on this garbage map. Oh! We don't need that anymore! We're in five Ds now! Whoa. We got an even better match! Oh, oh yeah! yeah. I love the red. The most beautiful. Oh my, this match is beautiful. Beautiful. Wow, the new Duel Knight man. Stevie, we should smell Oh my god. Should we smell it? Yeah, you smell it first. You can smell your L side, and I'll smell my win side. Oh wow. So okay. I'm gonna smell. I can smell a W there. Not oh there. my god, oh. same. I smelt that. Um, oh. I smelt that too on tsx1.com. Dot com? Yeah, dot com. On sale right now? On sale right now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's actually stop our duel and buy this right now on tsx1.com. Limited stock? Oh boy, gotta get that now. Hopefully we can get it, because I heard that it actually it's, it's gonna sell out. Apple Pay, Face ID. <laughs> you got it? I, I, I got missed it. the I missed it. Just like you're gonna miss this duel. Ah. <laughs> I'll have to make up for it. Alright, Steven. Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's do this. Alright. Doing the episode five, like five dragons, five Ds. Let's I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna win this. I'm gonna have to. You're gonna have In to. In the win honor this. of my deck. Alright. What are you playing, Steven? Uh you're gonna have to wait and see. I'm gonna draw. Okay. Draw off for turn. All right. All right. I've decided what I'm gonna do. Are you ready for this? Born ready. Like a protagonist. Like a protagonist? That's right. Well, I'm the antagonist. I will normal summon Dark Graffer. He's good. He's Dark. like a, like a ten. Like he has a ten effects. No. He does. I'm gonna utilize one of the effects. What's the effect? I'm gonna discard a black. Uh, a black black wing elf in the raven. Black wing elf in the raven. And I'm going to then send a dark from my deck to the grave. Do you know what card I'm sending? I'm sending global Vayu. Vayu. And then since I have oh, so you're, two black wings in my graveyard. So you're, so you're crow and wow. So what's the effect? So now since I have Vayu and Elfin in the graveyard and it's Elfin is a non-tuner, I can banish both. And single summon. And Synchro Summon on turn one into Blackwing Armor Master! That's a big bet. What an amazing turn one. Wow. And then after that, it gets even better. Then I'm gonna set two. That's a pretty good turn. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. What's his effect? It can't be sure of battle? Can... Unfortunately, Vayu negates the effects of my monsters. I just figured this out three seconds before we dueled. Oh, so you did a beater? Yes. Oh, that's a pretty good beater. Thanks. You're very welcome. All right. My turn, Steven? Yes. Oh wow, that was a pretty good move by Steven. Vayu to the graveyard with Raven. Now it's an easy armor master. I've actually seen that in the show. Crow did that before and that was a pretty good move. I bring out my Blackwing Vayu armor master combo turn one. Why? I want to start applying pressure against Soom. I want him to see that he has to deal with my board ASAP or else he's going down. So, so far it's so good. Let's continue applying pressure. Draw. Okay. I'm going to set one. Yeah. I'm going to set one. And I'm going to set two. Okay. Your turn. Is, it, right. is this turn once, once per turn? Uh, once per turn, yes. Pretty good, not bad. Draw. I will normal summon Dark Greffer. Dark Greffer. Yeah. Dark Greffer. Are you currently scared? Hmm. Dark Greffer. Cards in hand, two? Two. I'm not gonna give him another Dark Graffer on the field. Bottomless trap hole. Sink him to the hole. Bottomless. Bottomless. A bottomless Graffer. I'll have to let that resolve. Goodbye, Dark Graffer. Yes. Next, I will enter the battle phase. Dark Graffer, attack your pyramid turtle. Oh, am I right? It's a plastic Plank spreader. Oh, uh, you got me there. I got you. Blackwing Army Master attacking for 2,500 points of damage. 25. Putting you at 5,500. Yes. I will then pass my turn. Draw. 2,500 life points down. 5,500 to go. I'm going to continue applying pressure here, and another Armor Master is coming soon. I'm going to normal summon Koeki Maru Ice. Go what the? Whoa! He has a pretty good effect. Not going to lie, right, Steven? He has a really good effect. Koeki Maru, Mr. Ice. 
He's wearing ice on his wrist, you know what I'm saying? He's got the ice. Steven, you're, you're scratching your head a little bit there, you know what I'm saying? Steven, you scratching your head. That's not good. Steven, you want to try pulling? What does it do? Can I use priority? Yeah, priority. So I'm Are you using the effect? I, do? I do want to use the effect. So what I can do is, I will use the effect. So I can I can tribute one card, discard one card, and destroy one face of special. Oh, oh my god, that's gonna be so powerful, but in Forbidden Chalice here. <laughs> you think I'm scared of this card? Look at him. He's a little baby. <laughs> but he's pretty strong. Wait, why'd you wait for cost? It's not a cost. For cost? No. 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 Oh. Anyways, so he's 2300. Yeah. That's pretty strong. Thank you very much, actually. I got you. Yeah, she, 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 did she blow something? Or did she, 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 he drank something, right? Yeah. So I guess I don't have to use the end phase goal, right? Some, pro, some protein powder. Yeah. Okay. That was just fine by me. We're going to enter the battle phase. Yeah. Quickie Blue Ice, attack Mr. Greffer. Goodbye, Dark Greffer. Goodbye. I will take 600 points 600 of damage. Points damage. That's good by me. All right, Steven, end phase. Because it's a cop, it's a, it's a, it's a must. I'm gonna use his effect. I have to send one iron core of Koikimeru. Yes, the and that happens because it's a condition, right, yes. Jesse? Yeah. So yes. Chalice does not affect that aspect. But he does have a good effect, though. I can draw him instead of my draw phase if I wanted to. Whoa! Doing your draw phase because you're in graveyard, yeah. you guys. Whoa! You can add this and not draw a card yeah. and not draw an out because you're still gonna lose. <laughs> Koiki may lose, guys. Koiki, may cards in hand, Steven? I have two. All right, your turn. But I'm about to have three. Oh, you have three. Like that, like that. All right, like that, like that. Like that, like that. All right. I will summon. I don't know why this card's in my deck, but now I know. Vortex Trooper. <laughs> He's pretty. And I will use the effect. Is that good? Oh, I shuffle two cards from my hand into the deck to draw two. That's pretty good. Is that good? You you do what you gotta do, buddy. And then when it gets destroyed, it draws one. All right, I hope. Let's draw two. I want you to give me give me Mystic Tomato and a Trap Guard. Nice. Honestly, dude. That's even better. This was just like a thousand times better. You're insane. You're actually just insane. You're Thank you. Thank you. You're the goat. You're, you're the goat. You're welcome, brother. So you're at 55. 55, yes. I've decided that I'm gonna take this slow. Yes. I can clap you up right now. You have two cards in hand? Yes. Steve, and I will Steve. clap you up right now. I'm gonna activate Burial from a different dimension. What does that do? So that's gonna take three cards up to three from my Banished, and put it in my graveyard. And oh. then after that, I'm then going to use my Vayu again to make myself another another Blackwing Armor Master. Wow, that's pretty good. I have momentum, so I'm gonna use my Burial now is with only one Vayu instead of two or three. Okay, I'm gonna go for game right now. Very good. That was very, very good. And then I'm gonna enter the battle phase. Wow. <clears throat> Your cards at 1900? Yes. Armor Master? Do I wanna crash and draw one? Nah, attack. How can you crash and draw one? Oh, that was worth it. Okay, I'll take 600. <clears throat> and then yeah. I'll attack for 2500 more. I'll take it. So that means you would be at uh, 2400. Yes, that's good. So I'll set and pass. I would have loved to wait for a few, one more Vayu in my Great Banish to do that burial, but I feel that I could really apply pressure right now. First things first, I'm gonna use core reinforcement. What is this? It's called the Hunted. Select and specimen a Kokumeo Monster Magura and attack the only card is destroyed during your end phase. The control of this card takes damage. Whoa, you're gonna try and use this, right? Yeah, give us, yeah, steal it. Give us one. It'd be a shame if I had a seven tools of the bandit. <laughs> That's a good move. Thanks. You're very welcome. All right. I've now taken <clears throat> 1600 to your 56. Okay. I'm going to normal summon Koikimuru Power Hand. Koikimuru Power Hand. 2100 beater. Yep. Okay. I'm going to use Plague Spread Zombie Effect in the graveyard. Yep. Response? No. I place one card on top of my deck. Now I remember, summon's good. While we were drafting, now me and Sam share something in common. Sometimes we're a little cocky. Yes. Sometimes. Yes. So he drafted Goyo Guardian. He was like, "Yo, I drafted Goyo Guardian. Let's go!" And he like he took off his shirt and started like like doing some stuff with his belly. Anyways, uh, but he drafted Goyo. Yeah. So you don't have him. So I'm not scared. Let's go. All right. Want a synchro summon? Yeah. I expect it's removed. And I get to summon from my deck. I wonder what you're summoning here. The level six. Iron. Iron change. Oh, they're both Dragon. at 25. Yes. He's strong. Oh, okay. He's really strong. I'm going to enter battle phase. I'm going to attack Vortex Trooper. 
Is he gonna attack Vortex Trooper? So, is it gonna resolve? Ha 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 ha! Manage that card! <laughs> I set one. You're trying to see it. I draw. So you are at uh, 2400, which like means yes. Mirror Force will be the only card to save you. Enter battle phase, Armored Group Master, attack the game. <laughs> GG! Oh my goodness, guys. Another L for me on Duel Night. But you know what, man? I am not gonna give up. Life may knock you down, but you gotta get right back up. Or we'll just let it slip. Yo. So, that was a good match. But at the end of the day, I'm the best you can play in the game. Jesse, Sam, whoever I face next, I'm looking forward to it. It's been a while since I won a championship. What was it, two episodes now? Ah, long time for me. Next victim, let's go. Jesse! What's up, Sam? He's happy to lose. That's what's up. Impressive, hostile. <laughs> Can we have a friendly game here, man? Like, no. no? Who's uh, the 45th president of the United States? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Ojama! <laughs> It's very deserved. Um, Damn it. Damn. I'll start. Look. Yeah, good luck. Yeah. Alright, good luck, bro. Ooh, I love it. I love it. Love it, baby. Drop turn? Sure, you drop a turn? Uh, I would like to do that, yeah. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Break, didn't you? That's a trend for this deck, isn't it? Break, huh? Go. I love that. Wow. I may be acting like this is a brick, but the truth is with the dramas, you can't play aggressively right off the bat. You need to have a monster attack or you attack into a monster so Jama Blue can trigger or get the ball rolling. So even though I'm passing here, I'm not worried. It's not actually a brick. And it's important to note that you could argue I could just should just go second and that way I can attack straight away. However, with the old rules where I draw six cards, I'd rather just be, have a chance to set my back row first, like in this case, setting a trap stun. That way I can guarantee my combo goes through on the following turn. It's too bad that I don't have. First, I don't know what that is, so I'm gonna use Morphtronic Accelerator. Return one Morphtronic card from my hand to my deck to destroy one card on the field. And then you draw a card. Then I draw a card, so I'm returning Morphtronic Bind. Oh. Yeah, rid of that card? That card's great, sure. Yeah. Oh. Oh, trap stun. Oh, I can't want it. That's the best card in this deck. So while I'm sad to see him use it, I am also happy to see one gone. No, 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 no. You return this. <laughs> this oh, card. Sorry. Yeah. I'll be pretty broken, I don't know. That, that wouldn't make sense. Like, <laughs> Damn it. I like the more chronic bind. But you're playing more drama, so that means your monsters are not level four or higher. It's level four or more. The fusions so are. Huh. Do you think the fusion's not gonna get me? <laughs> you suck. You're gonna finish shuffling, or? Every day I'm shuffling. I'm going to go goddamn crazy talking to you. <laughs> Can you continue? Shuffle on! You just spit on me. You actually just spit on me. <laughs> What's up, boss? I get the roll six sided die. And then I roll. Just and then you, you excavate, yeah, and then... Before, actually, I should just increase my chances. That makes sense if you're not gonna... Okay, I'm gonna go start this, okay? Cool start. Put on the field before the results. Good, now you're learning. <sighs> Monkey learns to play Yu-Gi-Oh. I am going to actually get... A, to find. a jump box. Okay, that's like premature burial, right, for you? Right, like, exactly. Monster Reborn. Yeah. Oh, it's not a clip spell, I thought it was. Level 4 lower, and just charging the end phase, yeah, okay. Yep. Just back your cell phone. Just gonna back up my cell phone a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So now I Gold Sark for Junk Box. The reason why I did that is because I want to utilize my cell phone to uh, my advantage as much as possible, because Junk Box is basically an infinite monster reborn for Motronic. So as long as I have cell phone in the graveyard, Junk Box basically becomes one of the best extenders in the entire game, because I instantly get to survive back cell phone from the grave. So that way I can constantly you know, get access to my secret plays by hitting, of course, my Motronic monsters in my deck. It all depends on my RNG skills with the die roll, but still, you know what I'm saying? That's why I picked up Junk Box for follow-up. Please don't miss. So I'm gonna ask you to roll another one. 
don't miss, don't miss. Another one, another one. <laughs> Two! Damn it. Oh, that would have been nice. Nice. Damn it! Yeah, two, getting a two on self on is really low and whiffing on this kind of sucks. So the small amount of damages matters. That's not worth trying to just take the uh, shovel heading over the bottom. Uh, shovel, right? Returning them and the, I'll return the top of the deck in the same order. Oh, so, oh, that's amazing. So I can return. Wait, that's the defense posi position effect. Hold up. Never mind, shuffle the rest. Oh, damn. I wish you knew what would have been nice. Uh, right, right, right. Damn it. Right. Okay. Right. I have my turn. And your turn. You play one job. So, no battle phase? Oh, battle phase. <laughs> oh, battle phase. A self on attack for yes. 100. You know, the smaller the damage, the, the, it's, the heavier the hit. You know? What? The smaller the damage, the heavier the hit. <laughs> Are you high? That's, that's the same. <laughs> yes. Can I go? Yes, man, yes. You ready to get Dougie down, Sam, okay? Rescue Cat! Oh, you, you wow, I'm with you. Yeah, I didn't summon this last turn because I wanted a monster to crash into. Effect. Yeah. And I'll summon from the deck a Jamba Blue and a Jamba Blue. Are you only taking 100 life points? Yep. Damn it. Battle Fizz. Yeah. Attack? Yeah. Take 100 when Jamba Blue dies. Yep. Adds two Jamba cards neck to hand. Oh, nice. Adds, adds two. Ultra Magic. It adds two Jamba no cards. Country. Add two Jamba cards on monsters? Cards. Monster. Rescue Cat, bringing out two blues to search four cards. Now that's what I call some crazy card advantage right there. That's crazy. Go to you someone with drama cards in their hand to the game, especially someone with drama monster in the grave. Why you control face someone with drama monster? Oh God, hallelujah. Yeah. What does that one do? Oh, so you, you get to discard this to reward back? Yep. You're insane. Who are you? you I am your father. I don't know. Who are you? Are you Batman? Attack to another hundred. Oh yes, you let myself on. Yeah, I'll another? search another one. Unfortunately, I do have to let it survive. Yes. I do that, or I give up my searches, and I would rather search a bunch of cards. And I will just get magic. I'll just want these out of my deck. I'll get another magic. Right, so you lost your right? It's a double magic. So you have another your deck. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, you have a lot of cards in here. And it's about to become more. Cause then, wow. I'll activate a drama country. Wow. So I have main phase two. Main phase two, yeah. And then effect, discarding under magic, special some drama from the grave. Yep. And then also while I control no drama, um, all monsters in the field swap attack and defense. I love I love that. Do you? Yeah. Alright, well I'll get back the blue and then search. Yep. So I have one of each of drama of the vanillas. So yellow, <sighs> black, yep. green. Ooh. Oops, that's not the right card. Yep. Damn. It's, it's old Jamba Fest. It's old Jamba Festival! And now I'll activate... Polarization. Polarization. Wow. I'm so happy I got to summon this card. I will fuse my three vanillas away. Okay. Fuse your summon? Oh, Jamba King. Wow, so it's 3,000 attack. 3,000 right now. Damn. Effect, and I'll lock this zone, this zone, this zone. Are you playing? Playing Kushtaras? Having a panic attack? Yeah. Yeah, so you can't use this, this, or this zone, okay? Which zone, zone? This, this, this. So I can use this? Yeah. Thank you. And this still. So wait, so what I know is that you have Ojama Magic, and you have Ojama Country, right? That's all I know, and three other. No, I got the three Ojama Magics, you knew. Oh, just these two, okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, you added them? I added this, this, no, I put it back. I had these three in this, so I had these four. You're insane. What's your name? Who are you? You know my name. <laughs> Batman. What are you looking Pass? I don't know. Can I, am I passing? Yes. Go ahead. Draw. I'm a Mr. Bombastic. What a bit of Bastic. What a bit of a bit of a who? Mama. Yeah, roll one. Shit! Six! One! Two! Three! Four! Five! Six! Oh, my roll tip. How's that do? It doesn't do anything. <laughs> uh, while you're telling me you can move a play one more trying to come out to the graveyard, add one more trying monster to the same level for your next turn. 
One of us is in one security, someone will try to monster random, we have to add one more try monster at the same level as that monster that tried. <gasps> Put in defense mode. Alright, let's shuffle the rest back in. So I can see what you uh, hit there. Okay, so this. What's this card do? It's a monster. You're open. bending your cards, bro. Sorry. That's good. Look, look, it's like damaged already because you're holding him like, like an ape. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <clears throat> one reload gone and one revealed off of the cell phone. So there's one left that I don't know the location of. Odds are it's not in his hands. I'm feeling pretty good. Jesse, you know what? It gets really unfortunate because what I'm about to do next is about to ruin your day. Yeah. Not about to ruin your day, but it's about to ruin your life. No, please don't. Can I do it? <laughs> it's so funny because your Ojala King is just like a vanilla. It doesn't do anything. It's a capper. <laughs> now, I activate <sighs> Mortronic Cord. What the hell does this do? Damn, that's pretty good. Okay. Does it target, actually? Sorry. Yes, it does. It does not target. It doesn't target. Well, it targets this, obviously, but it doesn't yeah, target, target the back this. row. Yeah. Anything? Uh, no, sadly. I will switch cell phone to defense. Alright, uh, thinking. Are you activating the effect of the cord? Yes, I will activate yeah, the effect okay, of thinking, my thinking. cord. Thinking, thinking. No, 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 no. Oh, yes, I'm switching the defense. Yeah, it requires you to switch. Yes. So, yes, sir, you're activating the effect. Yes. Uh, you're good. Back row. Okay. Record popping my back row is concerning. Sam is not dumb enough to just ignore the Jama Country, so this makes me think he does have an answer to it. Not something I'm happy to see. You guys are probably wondering why Jesse didn't change our greed on Mortronic Cord. Well, the card doesn't target, so he was probably thinking I was gonna pop the Jama Country, but I didn't because I have a play that's gonna be able to pop the country that's coming up next. Okay, can you change it? I can because you, it doesn't target. Oh, that's, that, big that, that's what I was asking. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, and then I'm gonna use self funds effect right now. You already what? It's once per turn for defense, baby. So I, I get to stack my deck. Oh, this is terrible. No, it's same order. You're just gonna look at it. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Yes, so you gonna look at the top cards here. Hey, go ahead and do it. I mean, you may as well, I guess. No. No. <laughs> Okay. Uh, so um, I, I can't use these ones, right? No, you cannot. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Huh. Too bad if I would activate my Mortronic. Damn, you have the third one? God damn it. Okay, Mortronic Accelerator. I get to return a Mortronic Monster to the top of my bed. You know, sir. It showed me the Mortronic card. I think I want to return cell phone to my deck. Okay. What are you targeting? Oh, it doesn't target, right? What are yeah, you destroying? I'll yeah, just... no response. Yeah, I'll destroy the king. Okay. God damn it. I knew where two were. He has a third in his hand. It's fine, two down, one to go. I still have follow-up. This is annoying, but I'll be okay. If I draw one? Yes, sir. This is why, see, this is why me and Steven are insane duels. You're insane duels, not duels, it's du duels. Duel. I'll activate cell phone's effect. Just look at, yeah, look, go ahead. Oh, no, actually, no, I'm not gonna do it. No, okay. <laughs> I'm a mess of bombastic. I'm a bombastic. I'm a man of a man of boomboxing. Oh, what does that do? It doesn't do anything because I'm going to use remote and boombox and make Agent Fairy Dragon. <laughs> and then I'll use Agent Fairy Dragon to pop your fuse smell. It's pretty good. And now Agent Fairy Dragon will add my own Motronic map. <laughs> I read that card. Huh? I read that card. Yeah, I'm pretty good. Age of Fairy Dragon, this card is insane against Jesse's deck because I'm able to pop the Ojama Country to switch my Motronic map directly from my deck to my hand. So I needed to pop the Ojama King with the reload so that way I can free up my zones, you know what I'm saying? So now we're good to go. Ojama Country, see ya. Okay. You don't want to destroy the Ojama Blue? Let me search. Pardon? You don't want to let me search? For what? Never, no, mind. never mind, never no, mind, never mind, never mind. Absolutely do not want to make you search, absolutely not. Uh, I'll activate cell phones effect in the top. The third the time, uh, hit the roll die. Oh, uh, roll die? Yeah, roll die and then you look at that many. Two. Do you see it? I don't think so. And I, and I can put back in any order? Nope, same order. <laughs> nice card. That was a good play though. <laughs> and... Also, I'll activate more Tronic Map. Yeah. Uh, now it's pretty much it, I imagine. Right, I'll draw for turn. Yes, sir. Sam has was really close to making a brilliant play here. The Ancient Fairy Dragon is really strong. However, he should know I have easy access to a Jama Country. We have through terraforming, a Jama Blue, and I neglected to search 
a second country before, so he, he should probably read I have a second. So with him activating map here, he now gets rid of his way to kill my next country, and he's just gonna lose this map to the next country I have. So unless he's putting on me not putting me on not having another country, which I think is naive. And also leaving the fairy dragon in the fence also makes it weak to country. So he's really hoping I don't have country here, which is a really strange play. And he was so close to being very, very much in his favor. And I'll activate Ojama country. So this dies. Old field spell rule. Back then you can like, control one field spell. This is timing, buddy. Sure. Yep, absolutely sure. Uh, yeah, old field spell rules. You can only control one field spell for both players. Yep. So yeah, I will discard Ultra Magic. Yep to bring back Ojama King. Yep. And then I'll lock the same three zones. Battle phase. Because mm -hmm. attack and defense is swapped, I'll attack and kill your Ancient Fairy Dragon. Yes. And then I'll attack and destroy your Morphtronic. Sure. And then phase two. What are you doing? This is worth it. Yeah, I think so. I'm going to tribute my two Ojamas. What? Why? To summon... What are you doing? A whale. Oh, well. Whale's my favorite animals, right? Which is well. Now I'm stopping this draft. There's another whale. <gasps> oh, the the moto, chalu, chalua. <gasps> Chaka chalua. <gasps> no, not the fish. You know, you mean? could have come with us to Peru next week and have <gasps> seen some of these cool Incan stuff. I think that's what this is based off of, like the, the what's it called, the Nazca lines. Yes. Jesse just summoned an Earth Bound Immortal! What? That's crazy! Damn, Jesse's definitely a dark signer, bro. I summoned the Earth Bound Immortal here because I want to put it in the grave. That way, if I draw my Earth Bound Immortal Revival Trap card, I can bring it back at any point. It also means he can't attack, so unless he can clear my country again, he's going to have a hard time going directly. And I know his deck plays three Morphtronic Bind, which, for all intents and purposes, is Gravity Bind. And why I don't have it out right now, the reason I'm playing the this Whale Earth Bound Immortal, partially because it's an ultimate rare and I love this card, but also I can burn 2400 a turn or more if it's uh, a drama country swapping the attack and defense, and that should put him on a clock even if he has the gravity bind. Anyways, a priority on summon to burn equal to its defense position, and because the defense is swapped, it is 2900. Wait, no, there's no drama in the field, it's not swapped, uh, so just 24. Oh, wait, it's, it's not a drama in the field? Yeah, it's not, not swap, no drama on the field. There's no drama? Yeah, it's only swapped if there's no drama on the field, it's actually just 24. Sure, okay. So how much I lose? 24. Um, and I guess that will conclude this turn. I'll draw the turn. Yep, you back. Your bunk box. Boss. Yeah. That brings back anything? Yes. So you can get back to that. Okay, that's annoying. First and foremost, I want to normal summon myself then. Do you have another one? I'll okay. Self yeah. Two. Uh, you know the top card, so is that card good? Nope, it's not. Nope. Hey, <laughs> it's card again. This one comes right shuffled, yeah. I think you and Sumo both don't play enough monsters in your deck. I do, I, I play a lot of monsters. <laughs> so I take it like my battle phase if this card's an attack or something, right? Uh, you cannot, this card can't be selected as an attack. If it's a defense, you cannot send your battle phase, but you can't attack this card anyway, so. Why? Why can't I attack this card? That's just what it says. I can't attack it? Your opponent cannot select this card as an attack target. Period. That's just it, so. Chaku Chalua. Chalua. That's the best card <laughs> I'm gonna activate my checkbox. Yeah. I'm gonna revive back. <laughs> Roll the dice again. Cell phone? <laughs> okay. Effect cell phone? <laughs> yeah. Okay, you got five. I'll get the scout scoping. Yeah, I gotta read that one. Once well, the discard fits over the defense, becomes level four. So, four. Five or six, you once can make. Once the target special, monster in your hand, destroy three DM face. That's amazing. Let me think. So I can't select this as an attack target, right? No. Wow, I can't. Are you sure I can't select this? Yeah, it says that on the card. <laughs> it's like, what about this? It can attack me directly, too? Yeah. That is ridiculous, man. I'll use. Oh my god. <gasps> Yo, jump boss? I'll revive back River Molten. Uh, I can move from play uh, 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 a thing from my graveyard to add a uh, a a, uh, a, a Mortronic monster at the same level from my deck to my hand. And I'm gonna add Mortronic Slingin. Once per turn, you contribute one Mortronic monster, just for one card on the field. Oh my god! I'm a genius! Oh my! <laughs> Use Scorpion's effect? 
I will use Scorpion's effect. If it's an attack mode, it wants to drag a special number Mortronic Monster from my hand, and a special number Mortronic Sling him. Ah, oh, I forgot about Mortronic Sling him. He does have an easy answer to this then. Okay, well, I'm glad it's used. I'm not sure if he probably plays multiple. The card, I, I, I was greedy there. I should have recognized that was an out. Like, I'm somewhat familiar with Morphotronics, but not super familiar. I'll have follow-up, but I'm gonna take a lot of damage. Slingin is one of the craziest cards in my deck because I can tribute any Morphotronic card on my field to destroy any card he controls if it's an attack position. Since he has an Earthbound Immortal on the field, I can destroy the Drama Country. Once a face-up field spell leaves the field, the Earthbound Immortal also leaves the field. Now, I'm a doosh, 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 doosh. Finish. I would use Slingin to trigger out myself on to destroy the country and the country since you control bow you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying now oh, oh, oh. you know what I'm doing I'm calling the orcas oh, 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 oh. Right, now I'm playing Sam a good play that's a good play you know what I'm saying that's good. That's good. That's good. Right. Well, I'm the wrong self on that's besides the point. So, I am gonna use three, four, and these three mans. Or three, four, uh, yeah. Use three mans. Can we go to the so sorry? These start destroying him? No, I'm gonna make a colossal fighter. Colossal fighter? That is a good, that is a good card. Yeah. Can make colossal? The reason why I make Colossal Fighter is to just strictly stall. I know that Jesse has access to Country and Ojama King, so all the attack and defense will be switched anyways. And the only way for Jesse to out my Colossal Fighter is having main deck outs in the deck, which I don't think he has, but right now all he's doing is his Ojama King beat down. If I can just, you know, secure Colossal Fighter, I basically have an infinite wall, right? So it's obviously better than summoning Stardust or, or any other level eight. So Colossal Fighter is definitely the correct choice here to make against Jesse. Okay. A battle phase? Yeah. Attack for 28? Yep. And three. Yeah. You have you have 46. Yep. And my turn. This dies. Yep. My turn? Yep. Alright. I, uh, I think that was probably. Main phase one? Yep. Almost under drama blue. Yep. Battle phase? Yep. Fortunately have to crash it to take 28. Yep. And then effect. Yep. I will get. Pajama Country. Yep. And I'll get Pajama Black. Yep. Then I will activate Upstar Goblin. Yep. Activate the Upstar Goblin. Yep. I'm at 86. Alright, so that's what you did. Yes. Yeah, this was... That was terrible. Mm, what happened? Can I see it? Show me after. That's your terraforming. Oh. After I searched the last country. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I want to deck then first. And I just, God damn it. It's okay. It happens, you know? It, yeah, it happens. <laughs> yeah. But I thought this was a definitely good play. I think it's one hundred Bring back the king. king. Lock one, two, three. Yep. Um, and I'm not gonna go. Yeah, I'm not gonna set it. I told you what it was. So I have another Jama Country. It's the last one, so this one has to survive. I'm running low on resources anyway, so this is my last push. I'm gonna commit to it. Mr. Jama King here does lock about doing a lot because now he can't synchro summon. He has a Colossal Fighter, and if he summons one more monster, that's it. However, I also don't have a great way to deal with Colossal Fighter right now. Now, if you recall my deck list, I have plenty of outs, so I should get there. And I did a lot of deck thinning with my Oja Magics and my Upstar Goblins and my Aljama Blues. So I do feel like I should get to my answer first, but it's a game of chance. So it's at... A thousand, yeah. So 20 defense, right? Yeah, it's 20 defense. Uh, and my turn? Draw. Main phase one effects... No, main phase two. I didn't enter battle phase. You crashed. What are you talking about? You drew a card? Oh yeah, oh yeah. This is a different, oh, this sorry. is a different Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, I didn't know, okay. What do you mean, didn't know? Hey, okay, okay, I'm sorry, broski. That's how much I'm going back. You're so lucky, bro. I'm so lucky, bro. You're lucky, I don't play a second to try to get Bro. Bro. You killed it anyways. No, well, I was like, I could've went Agent Fairy and I could've extended your person. I mean, the entire game would've been different. Oh, true. Go ahead, go ahead. Nice. 
He's out here. Yes. I love that. All right, Sam. Got it. Yeah. Right, I just found that All right. So Sam thought me he was safe. He has no back row. Now's the chance to shine. I was waiting for the Karma Cut for my turn. That way, now I can follow up with Palmerization, make a Jama Knight, and lock out all five of his zones. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm very serious. And then I play Palmerization. Yeah. And choose these two Jamas together. Right. Pro Jama Knight. Yeah. Unlock the last two zones. Sure. <laughs> Gosh, Tira, baby, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> 25,000. Yeah. Really hate to see what happen. I don't. <laughs> this guy, this guy, Jesse Cotton, you see this guy? He just Kushtira locked me in 2008. Honestly, Jesse on, on, on his Twitter talks so much smack about Kushtira's, about locking people's zone, and look at him. What a hypocrite. Everybody go on and follow him right now. Just, <laughs> what a hypocrite, bro. You said, you know what's going on right now, right? Yeah. All five of your monster zones are locked. Yeah, I got it. In current format and this format. I know. <laughs> Go ahead. I think I know Sam's deck. Can't use bind, he needs a Morphtronic on field, and he only has one reload left. Pretty sure Steven has the smashing ground, and I think Sam just has no answers left. He loses, he has no monster zones. His only answer is the one reload. Two are gone, one left. I got this. <gasps> oh, oh, there's one left in the deck. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> so, Raider? Yeah. I'm gonna put that this way. And I want to destroy it. Yeah, I'm gonna destroy King. Come on. I'm freaking sick, bro. You're so lucky. My name is Leo! You are so lucky. That's what happens. Jeez Louises, Jesse Walter. I'm a normal summon Mortronic Scorpion. Yeah. I use the fact once per turn, you can special one level four and level training monster in my hand. I'm gonna special summon Radeon. Yeah. Uh, it's level seven. Oh, it's game. I'll use uh, Trunk Box. You should third one? <laughs> summon Slingin. Where are the, all the other cards in this deck? Uh, Yo. Slingin effect, tribute this. Uh, destroy the country. Is it zero? I'll single these two for level seven, Secret Wyvern. And you're at 1800. Actually, no, I'm gonna go Power Tool Dragon. Power Tool Dragon? Yeah. Power Tool Dragon! Yes! <laughs> Do you have any other outs in your acting deck? No, I, ha I had no out. I had no out. I had no out. I, I, I drew no an accelerator. That's my only out. That's my only out. To draw, to draw accelerator. That's my only out. Damn it, I, I feel like I was finally gonna win with Ojamas. My deck was really good this time. I'm, damn it. I guess, I don't know. I guess I'll have to try again another time with Ojamas. That was a crazy turn. Oh my God. One of the best sequencing plays here on Duel Night. The sack, the board setups, the zone locks, Earthbound Immortals. This duel was probably one of the best duels I've ever had here on Duel Night. And especially knocking out Jesse to the ultimate losers match on the Patreon. Yes! My first loss of the season. Yes, his first loss of the season and one of many. Let's go. Sam, Steven. I have a stipulation before we begin this match. What's up? If I win, this beautiful play match is mine. I got you, bro. Oh, thank you, bro. Yeah, right on one.com. Actually, just for this weekend only, because Steven says it's on sale, so. Yeah, but only only because of me. You guys should thank me in the comments and hope that Sam loses this game. You guys, remember, visit TX1.com for your Supreme Pros. These are all the sleeves that we use for all the duels. And use Potato 10 as your code for 10% off. Use Potato 10 for 10% off. The best sleeves in the game, guys. Let's go. They're amazing. How was that duel, Steven? Did you enjoy that? That was an incredible duel. I was watching it very closely. I knew both their decks. There was some protagonist stuff. That's Too great. bad antagonist is winning this one. Really? You're winning it? Three, three. Tie. Two. I'll roll a five. Told you. Two. Oh, okay. Two. Five. I told you you roll a five. See? Five. I told you. I'll roll a six. I stopped. Told you. Sorry? I got, got a six. I'll go first. Okay. Right, go. Go 
I'm gonna start my turn with setting. Yep. As well as is Heavy Storm in the draft? No. Setting. Release restraint wave is a hard to set a center. Cruise spell to the graves are all back row. Yes. Setting. Go ahead. <laughs> Drop turn. Yes. Activate Mortronic Acceleration. Mortronic Acceleration. I'll put back Boombox into my deck and I'll destroy your set. That's a missed tomato. This one? Yes. If it's saying it, I'll be really sad. Good call, man. Good call, man. Let's go. Damn, nice that Sam called the tomato. I saw him play against Jesse. Sam is getting a lot better. He's got a lot of stuff against Jesse. He just called my Mystic Tomato. Props to him. Let's see where he can take this, though. I still got two sets. Watching Steven's first match against Zoom, it was really obvious. Steven could only set X amount of cards on the very first turn. It was either he said Vayu, he said Mr. Tomato, or Sangen. So I was betting on that set to me Tomato, and I was absolutely correct. So that was definitely a good play on my end. So unfortunately, you're going to lose, but that's still a very nice call. Yes. Or what? Uh, now I would normal summon my cell phone and call priority. I want to read this card. Whoa! I'm gonna have to challenge that, my friend. No, okay. So you have 500 attack points. It's quite a big number. Wow, that's crazy. That's one machine. No! Oh, machine dupe. No! I'm a Mr. Yeah, guys, I'm about to get clapped right now. Just self kidding. One. He's going to be getting clapped. First off, I'm like... Oh, my goodness. Sorry. Enjoy. I'll let that go. Three. What? Scoping. Put it attack one. Okay, so I read this. Hey, what's back to some more trying to monster my hand. Oh, you scope it up? Good. Special move boxing. Okay. Hey. No. Attack or defense? Uh, attack. Good. Oh, you scope in in these? Okay. Power to them. Good. Like power to That's fine. Three spells. Cord. This and this. And I pick one at random. Yep. Mm -hmm. Cord and re repair unit. Okay. One, one two. One, one six. One six. One two. Three four five six. Yeah. Yep. Are you used by last one? Yep. Six. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yep. Oh, special then, sorry. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna figure out if I wanna uh, search and attack with the Okay. Yeah, I'll put all. Comboing, baby. Now, I'll, I'll, I'll use Remolten's effect to banish Boomboxing. Okay. Uh, switch level four monster. Okay. I'll search Radeon. Can we this? Yep. I'll use these two. Okay. To make Armory Arm. Okay. Okay. Enter battle phase. Tack, 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 tack. Uh, order. Okay. And I'll use armory arm and sculpting. Okay. 
principle of war and defense. Please let us strike. Uh, no, pretty much it for my turn. I end. Sure. Yep. <clears throat> That turn was a huge turn for me. You guys saw how crazy I was able to combo off with Morphtronics. And the reason why I made starters is because I knew that Steven played smashing ground in those like removal traps, like bottomless trap holes and trap holes and stuff like that. So making starters immediately to prevent those trap cards, those powerful removal spells from being activated was definitely crucial on my end. That was a crazy turn. <clears throat> Draw one. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Our normal summon, Black Ring Circle the Dawn. Sure. And then I'm gonna enter Battle Phase. Yep. And I'm going to attack a self on. Sure. I'm gonna use 19. Yeah. Yep. When I set two, I'm gonna pass. Okay. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I face self on tonight? Yeah. Roll dice? Yeah. because I know Steven plays a lot of spell and trap cards that targets a monster, like Deep Prison. He may be have Sacred Suit, he might have Shrink, he might have Chalice. So Thought Ruler literally negates his entire deck with absolute ease. So my board right now is Stardust, Thought Ruler, and Power Tool. I attack with Power Tool and attack with Thought Ruler, and I decided not to finish the game with Stardust is because I know Steven definitely has a Deep Prison down there. I knew, I know Steven, bro. I'm reading that Deep Prison as a face down set, and I'm trying to play around that card, and the best way to play around it is not attack, and don't be greedy, and I'd rather keep my starters on the field as an extra body, and also a card that was, is able to negate cards like Fissure or Smashing Ground. So I want to keep my starters up on the field as long as possible. Sam is getting better. He literally did not attack with the Stardust, knowing that Deep Prison, good job, Sam, but it's not over yet. Things are looking bleak right now, but I will never give up. It's not over yet. Yep. She got a bluff. It's the value for sure. Thank you. Yep. Level seven, six. Six, seven, one. Good. Yep. So he's in a, he's either chatless, he has chalice. Uh, next to a normal Elf in the Raven without tribute summoning okay. because I have a Black Wing monster. Yep. And I'm going to use the effect. I'll put Stardust on defense. Yep. Yeah, that's the only one. And then enter battle. Okay. Crash. Yep. Kill. Enter battle phase. Thought rule retreat, attack for game. Toss this in the middle. Damn step. Oh, not damn step. On attack declaration. Well, we're targeting. Can you use both in one chain? I okay. can. Yep. So for sure you can use both in one chain? Yeah, it's okay. 1000%. Yep. Mm -hmm. GG. <laughs> I told you, Deep Prison and Shrink. GG, Steven. Thought Ruler is OP against Steven's deck. He loves to draft battle traps. He loves to draft cards at targets. 
thought ruler for flipping game. My starter's read was absolutely correct. Guys, thought ruler destroys my deck. We lost! But congratulations to Sam. Sam played very, very, very well. Called multiple cards. He deserved it this whole episode. Played well versus Jesse, well versus me. He deserves it. Good job, Sam. Guys, thank you for watching. I am uh, very upset that I couldn't get the hat trick, especially the Jamas and with the Earthbound Immortal Chaluha in my deck. Oh man, I really liked my deck this time and I felt like I made such a cool and strong deck with some of my favorite cards ever. So really sad I didn't get there, but I have more dueling to do. Go to the Patreon and watch the Ultimate Losers match where obviously I'm gonna slaughter soon. But yeah, anyways, I'll try to make Jamas work sometime. I promise I will get my Duel Knight win with them. And I'll see you then. Peace. Well, that's it for me, guys, on Duel Night Episode 5. You know, I had a blast. Drafting was so much fun. I love my little combos. Even though I wasn't able to show them off, you guys can find me in the Ultimate Losers match. Where, of course, from there, I love to show you guys what my deck can do and the power of the zombie Koei Marus. Other than that, guys, hit the subscribe button. There's so much more content happening on the channel, and I look forward to seeing all you guys very, very soon. Soon, out. Pleasure as always, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure to check out Patreon where I'm going to get my revenge on Sam. He played great, but I don't play great. I'm about to play greatest. So check out Patreon where you get to see that. Hope you guys loved the episode. And I'll see you guys next episode. Peace. Guys, for this weekend only, visit TX1.com to get your dual night two-player play mat today in the link down below. It's an awesome play mat for you to play with your friends. It's a great table mat for you guys to have. And yeah, it's on sale right now. Uh, TX1.com, just like a mini release. Be sure to get your Supreme Pro sleeves today. These are all the sleeves you use for dual night. These are all the sleeves that Jesse and Pac and everybody uses right now. They're, they're called SP White, Supreme Pro White. Easy shuffling, easy gliding, the best leads in the entire game. If you guys love PC Whites, these are the closest thing to it and they're the most affordable. These are the closest thing to the original PC Whites. So this is like, I formulated something, if not even better. So guys, get it today in the link down below, tx1.com. Be sure to use the code POTATO10 for 10% off all your sleeves. And be sure to get the Duel Night Playmat as well in the link down below for this weekend only. So guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. That's two victories now for this season. Let's get it, let's go. I'm excited for what's to come next on next episode of Stardust Overdrive. All right, that's pretty much it. I'll catch you guys on the Patreon. You know what I'm saying? Peace.